Hi guys, I'm back and it's time to unbox another mint mongoose. So this should be October's mint mongoose. For those of you who aren't aware, mint mongoose is a monthly jewelry subscription uh, service, if you will. They send you three items of jewelry, at least in the base pack. I don't even know what all the options are anymore, but what I can tell you is usually it's two layering necklaces and a set of earrings. If you don't have pierced ears, they will either send you like a ring or a bracelet or maybe even clip on earrings sometimes from what I understand. If you choose that option, they mix it up a little bit. Uh, you can also choose which metal you like. So they have gold, silver, and rose gold, or you can just choose surprise me, which is the option I chose because I personally feel like I can rock any color of jewelry. And I just, it's part of the surprise that I like. And anyways, moving on each month on top of your three pieces of jewelry also comes with some sort of illustration um, or beautiful artwork that kind of ties into the theme that there is every month. And then on the back, the creator Helena tells you about the theme. So let's go ahead and dig on in. It says, hi there. This month's set is inspired by the beautiful tree area, treed area behind my in-laws house. My family and I have recently been spending a lot of time with my in-laws. They built their house in a five acre treed lot outside of the city. It is so peaceful there and the beauty in what nature does when you let it is astounding. Every morning out the back door, you can see small black squirrels jumping from tree to tree. You can hear the birds chirping and the deer stepping on branches as they jump through the backyard. Looking back into the forested area, the green trees are so thick, it is difficult to tell where one ends and the next begins. On many occasions, I have just sat staring at the life going on in the shadows, captivated. The green abalone shell in this set is meant to symbolize the intertwined trees, ferns, and moss, and the beauty they are when woven together. So that was a sentence. Um, <laughs> the kids can't get enough of the backyard here. They run through the walking path we have been making, built forts with branches and leaves, and collect slugs and caterpillars. Being from a city environment, it is so exciting to see the kids enjoy and thrive amongst nature. I hope that this set inspires you to take some time to appreciate nature around you and the life going on just outside of your line of sight, but within earshot. If you're like me and nature isn't prevalent in the area you live, even a trip to the park to enjoy a shaded tree can be so refreshing. Okay, so basically it is a nature inspired set, which I'm digging. Uh, another part of this that I would like to highlight is there is a little wax seal with a mint mongoose on it. So let's go ahead and dive on in to what this jewelry looks like this month. Now if you'll just give me a minute to unwrap all of this plastic, I shall be back in touch with you shortly. Okay, this month it looks like I got the gold set and the earrings this month are very, very basic. They're just two little gold baubles or balls or whatever you want to call them. I do really like the simplicity that comes with mint mongoose. It's something I enjoy. It's definitely like my jewelry style is more simplistic um, and more modern than anything else. I like that these are very versatile earrings that I could wear with a lot of different things. I did, or I started subscribing to mint mongoose just because uh, back when I was doing Nadine West, I really enjoyed a lot of the jewelry, but a lot of the jewelry was just way overpriced for what it is. And something I like about Mint Mongoose is that this is like, I think $16 a month. I believe it's cheaper if you buy the year plan, um, but either way, it's very cheap for what you get. Okay, so here is one of the necklaces, which is just a straight gold chain with one ball at the bottom or bauble. So all of their necklaces are adjustable so you can decide how long or short you would like them to be. So we'll go ahead and put this beauty on right now and we'll, let's do the shortest one with this top. Do, do, do. Okay, pretty cute. And we will go ahead and open up the third one, which this might be the abalone that she was talking about. Let's see. Oh, I see it now. Very cute. One minute, please. 
Okay, so here is the last necklace. It's definitely on the short side. Um, and then this is what the pendant looks like. She's calling it abalone. It reminds me a little bit maybe more of Mother of Pearl, but I'm not a gemologist or, you know, any sort of mineral expert in the least. But let's go ahead and try this on and see how this pairs with the other necklace she sent. And we're going to go ahead and put this on the shortest length as well. Very cute. I feel like I need to like move this guy up or move the other one down. But either way, the jewelry is very cute this month. Anyways, I know these videos are always short but sweet. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, turning on notification bell, and whatever else I forgot to mention. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And, uh... I should be filming some more videos before Thanksgiving, but in case this is the last one you watch before Thanksgiving, have a happy Thanksgiving, guys.